Namaste, lovely people. Welcome back to my channel, Ashoma Magical. If you are new, I hope you won't be until we meet again. Until the next time, special welcome to you and warm welcome to people who are already watching me and kept on watching me. I appreciate that. Um, I would be thankful if you will like, share and subscribe the video. Also feel free to comment. I'm, I'm pretty glad to read some of those just to get a feeling if the story resonates, which part does resonate, how much does it resonate. So today we're looking into some general energies for the month we are already in. Like, it's happening. Um... Yeah, for the month of December, some general messages. This is going to be a general reading for the Earth signs. For Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus. So if you got some of those in your chart as Sun, Moon, or Rising, this may be your story. Let's see. I will be pulling 10 cards with a special dedication so let's see what the messages are for our collective beautiful earth signs welcome to my channel i'm happy that i'm here i'm happy that you are here so let's see what do we got what do we have Okay. <clears throat> okay, interesting. <clears throat> wow. Did I okay? <clears throat> Some very, very interesting energy, I must say. I knew the judgment card is gonna pop out. Like I was looking my cards before I started recording, but our deck. I will start using that our deck too. And the card I was looking at was judgment, and I knew it's gonna come up. Okay. Okay, let's see. As a subject team for our earth signs, we got eight of swords uh pretty big energy like uh i won't say it's necessarily negative even though the the card is um uh, i'm saying big energy because the card is like um um it's like tense you know it's like she got some baggage she, she got some some past still knocking and at her door and she i'm saying she because it's a female on a card it doesn't depend what your gender is just saying okay so it's like some big energy some tense energy some something is holding you like uh, you need um the subject subject team is actually saying you need to release the past and you need to release uh whatever is keeping you stuck and keeping you like you know, like, um, like you are in some bandage and you can't really move. Like it's that kind of big energy and it's that kind of tense energy. Like, uh, it's keeping you in that way. Like you're blind and blindfolded. And even though you want to see a new picture and a new chapter of your life, like you need to let go of this obstacles of this past of this trauma of this hurt of this whatever it may be that just keep you stuck and it's keeping you like um in a bond like you have a you just have to release it that's it and she's willing to do it you know like she's already making a step because she's, she's, sorry, she's looking herself in front of the mirror. And she, she does see all of that. Like it's crystal clear. There just needs to be some 
braveness process of course like take your time for healing and just let it go the next one the second car is a uh, four of wands but we got it in a reverse and the four of wands is a card which represent the energy which can support the first card and um and or uh cause some problems to it uh this is definitely something what is supporting the first card because it's actually a good one it's on fire energy to this eight of swords um to this air energy um and it's a good one because um you know you actually are taking time for yourself and and being there for yourself and just um you know like going through this process and going through this healing period that's why you're not especially out there um in front of the crowd in front of the people maybe you got some um just close people around you you would know and yeah that will be it pretty much it's it's a supporting one and i personally think it's great i support you there too because this is really a big thing and this is important. You need to look deep inside of yourself so you can actually see what's going on. And so you can actually go through the process so you can open a new chapter and open your new door. So next one, the third card, we got the justice and we also got it in a reverse. Uh, this card is your unconscious influence. So maybe there are things that are unknown to you that you are actually not aware of, that you are not knowing. Uh, it does not, um, it doesn't have to mean um, if it's a source from the inside or the outside. So it may also represent, of course, it's some information, it's some... Um, special happening uh, that you are just not aware of maybe it's none of your business who knows but there is something you are not aware no uh there you are not aware of especially that this card is perfect on timing and in a position of your unconscious influence so um it may also represent the inside out energy like <clears throat> which is also connected i mean all cards are connected of course but it's a great connection to the first card to a subject team uh, to the eight of swords because um as i said it may also represent something from the inside something you you don't know you just don't know that's why you are actually coming finally to that point to that healing process that you can look yourself in the mirror and maybe find out that justice you need so you can you know i support you there too <laughs> just so you know okay we keep on moving the four card is your conscious influence what are you conscious about and that's the devil and the great thing especially when it comes to earth signs like um uh devil is actually capricorn energy and capricorn card but uh, i don't like to say that those if you have noticed uh, i don't like to put like special science uh energies on a card like yeah just saying um that's how i like to do it but uh what's a good one is that devil is also in a reverse so something is really going on some healing is in a process um like secrets coming out you're getting your justice you're getting what you need to know so you can keep moving and keep going forward uh you are meet meeting the unknown like um earth signs this month is getting fucking real for you like this is a big one i sensed it when we started this is a big one okay uh the next card we got is the king of swords and this card is representing the old habits and what you are used to do so 
it's a big energy it's a great energy it's some air energy it's um pretty you know he's a king of swords like uh he don't got to prove himself uh he don't have to run after nobody like he know what what he's done he know where he stands he's very confident he's uh, he's stable like um he got wisdom he got patience he got he's the king you know so uh it's a good energy so even though this may be some of your habits i see it as a really good one as a really positive one so keep it up with that keep it up with that definitely so the next one we got are the ten of wands some fiery energy some exhausting energy and these are the new upcoming ways schedules patterns so uh maybe through this healing process you actually go um you are taking all this with you like you are being reborn and taking the whole new you into new habits and new schedules and new pattern and whatever you want to create earth signs uh ten of wands it's like she's enough she's very brave um that person i'm all <laughs> I'm, I'm talking she again because it's a girl in a picture like um it's very stable it's very nurturing it's very providing it's very um like she she got she got what she needs and she keep on moving she got a buffalo next to her and buffalo is um, also an animal, spirit animal, maybe even some spirit animal for some of you, significant. Mm, but it's a spirit animal of uh, protection, of warm, keeping warm. Uh, because in a, for Native Americans, it was something that was um protecting them there was keeping them warm uh buffalo was also a provider of food um so yeah you're taking even though you go through a healing process um i don't get a feeling of this emptiness you're gonna create like uh the air sign did in their readings like uh you are just going to meet something that's pretty much unpleasant for you something you have no idea about that's being inside of you maybe i'm saying again it's also from the outside world it may be but i really got a feeling from the cards and the messages and the energy that is from the inside out um anyways projecting so <laughs> um but yeah anyway uh something is gonna be like boom and you're gonna you're gonna get aware of it and you are going to get rid of what you don't need what doesn't serve you anymore anymore and you're going to keep what does serve you and uh just keep on going as you probably always do just keep on going that's it so the next card is actually representing you and your feelings your attitude toward the subject team um it's a queen of swords it's a great energy it's a great energy when it comes to healing process and that you are actually meeting um that you're actually meeting that um energies that you are not really aware of and on the other half that you are aware of but um it's making a little pressure on you like it's keeping you stuck but um you are giving an attitude to it like um it's gonna be okay i'm gonna be stable and i'm gonna do this i'm gonna th go through whatever i need 
um, I'm gonna keep my cup beside, I'm gonna keep it safe, and when I'm ready, uh, I'm going to give it <clears throat> to the whoever it may be. Uh, it's also a make cup for you when you release all what you need to release, a cup that's going to fulfill you. So you are going to share it also with some other significant. Um, but uh, you are pretty much like, you put your sword down, like you're open to it. You are open to um you are open to these new possibilities and definitely it may possible for some of you that it will have um it will have something to do with love and with a particular significant other maybe it doesn't have to be if you are already in a relationship if you are i'm happy for you if you're not i'm also happy for you because you're definitely going to be with somebody because we have a pair we have a king of swords and we have a queen of swords and the next two cards uh is representing the lovers so i have a feeling after you go through this healing process uh, after you clean the mess and release yourself and take what you need and keep on going this person is either gonna stay by your side and support you as it should be that's why i'm happy for you if you are in a relationship and for others of you who are single right now at the moment um, you are gonna get your queen or king that's nice that's nice Okay, the next one is what do you attract from the outside? And that's the judgment. <sighs> yeah, as I said, um, you are attracting what you project. And you are projecting the justice you want to be, you want to hear, you want to see, you want to live. So the judgment, Major Arcana also, I must say. So we have two Major Arcanas until now. Anyway, um, like you are getting sense of this judgment. Maybe you're the one who, who have been calling upon it. Like finally, finally it's happening. Finally a judgment call. And that's what you actually attract from the outside energy. Like shining through. Projecting from the inside out. Great. The next one is a card of your wishes or on the other side what you don't want to meet. But it's a definitely your wish because, excuse me, uh, as I said, next two cards are actually the lovers. With the pair of queen and king of swords, uh, you are maybe calling upon love of your life with this judgment call. Or maybe if it wasn't that supportive, if you are already in a relationship, if it was some, uh, you know, roadie busty. Uh, path for both of you maybe with this judgment call you actually are going to manifest and create the lovers um, energy as a key to the reading to our subject team we got a king of wands <sighs> earth signs this is a great reading this is a great reading. King of Wands as a key, like, yeah. Somebody's gonna get what they need, what they want. Somebody's brave enough and strong enough and able enough and uh, definitely, definitely um, like an emperor, like a... The card uh, about the family and and um, 
stuff like that is not on the reading but with the king of wands and all the lovers and the pair of the queen and king of swords i'm getting a feeling you maybe uh, have to um build a family you may be actually going to build a family with this person if you're already not maybe you got kids maybe you're gonna have kids because king of wands is also a father figure that's someone who is um someone you can look up to someone you can learn from someone you can actually you know rely on like he's a leader people can follow him okay so let's clarify these energies for earth signs collective So let's go deeper into this Eight of Swords. We got being alone and the side of an illusion. Um, yeah, I totally connect the Eight of Swords with this card. Being alone, you're taking time for yourself. You're taking time to go through this healing, as I said. And you are meeting... Um, you are coming to this illusions you may be created yourself, illusions you have been brought to, like um, you are getting out of it. Like you are really seeing it for what it is. You're going to get this blindfold from the eight of sports and actually be able to look um, in the mirror and just, you know, uh, I don't have a feeling I have to clarify all the cards because the second card is actually saying exactly that. Uh, so I would just do, let's go, do, yeah, yeah, let's do the justice. Like, share, and subscribe if you already have not. Keep watching. Okay, let's see. Okay. We have patience with justice and we have a master. On this card is very, 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 very ironically funny because it's Osho Zantaro. And he's actually himself, this is Osho, he's actually himself on a master card, you know, like, greetings to Osho, like, even though he died, he has some good messages. Okay, like, with the justice, uh, take your time, don't be in a rush, uh, all happens in a divine timing when it's supposed to happen. That's what we got with the patient card. This card is just, just beautiful. I'm going to say it every time when I see this card because it's, oh, it's very female energy inside of the card. What a sense. Um, yeah, with this justice, you're actually calling upon. Take your time. Don't pressure uh, it's gonna come. It's gonna come when you are ready to receive the justice and the message about it. And you are actually gonna master. As I said, you're gonna come, you're actually going to come out of this blindfulness, of this healing process. Like, yeah. And then it's going to start happening for you, Earth signs. Like, voila. <laughs> Okay, let's look up to this devil energy in a reverse. I'm loving that it's actually in a reverse. We got the past life. Like, look at this. You got the past life. Past life. So maybe... Okay, listen. This is going to be very spiritual. But 
I want to believe that some of you who are actually watching this are going to understand. Or are going to try to understand, okay? We got the devil in the reverse, which, as I said, represents you are releasing this devilish energy, this old habits, this um, addictions, this um, keeping you stuck, whatever it may be, uh, like energies that are actually a form of um, expressing the lower you, this very ego-centrical and ego um, side that every one of us got. That's a devilish energy. And you got the past life. So maybe all of this trauma and, and pain and hurt and these bad habits and obstacles and, you know, things that are keeping you stuck. Maybe you are actually brought all of that from your past life. So maybe it has to do something with your past life. Just look at the card. I mean, I don't even have to say much. Just look at the card. This card is actually saying pressure. I mean, even if you look at him, he's like, he's like dying from a pressure. Yeah. So even though devil came in the reverse, it does take time because of all of the pressure and maybe past life energies and just you know uh, a big tense feeling you got from all of this let's see this king of swords which will actually represent you i got a feeling so it's major it goes perfectly fine with the king of swords because he is all of that he's very major and he's very wisdom fulfilled and the fool so there is a new leap of faith someone wants to take uh, this card, let remind us that this card represents your old habits, like um, maybe you were liking just to sit in that energy, you know, like knowing your shit and, and um, getting all the informations and being wise and, you know, blooming and... <laughs> yeah so major very major energy with this one and the full so maybe you want to flip it to some leap of faith with with the full the full is also somebody who who is not afraid as well as the king of swords like they don't need to prove themselves they don't need to compete and especially the fool, he's like, he got the whole world beside him, behind and in front of him. And if he wants to do something, he's going to do something. Like he's going to jump into it. He's going to take this leap of faith. Okay, let's look at the Ten of Wands. Ten of Wands, we got the dream. So it's actually, it's actually your dream to really come out of this healing process and everything that's keeping you stuck and just take the stuff you need and just move into new patterns and new direction you want to create with that buffalo energy that's actually supporting you as, as brave, as capable, as stable, as very like even though ten of wands represent fire energy, uh, if you maybe notice that sometimes I'm intuitive reader, so when I look at the card, it's very earthy, like it's very earthy. 
you know and it's the dream for some of you this is actually the dream and guess what it's happening like december is your month definitely and you are going to to be open enough to receive the dream wow <laughs> wow okay queen of swords we got sharing and we got projection okay for some of you i'm definitely gonna feeling you are actually in the energy of the king of swords especially with the meaning of the card the old habits and and what you are used to uh, so you are actually calling on your queen of swords i'm saying again it has nothing to do with your gender okay it's about energy tarot are about energies um <clears throat> queen of swords you are calling upon like you are projecting that's the dream you want to project also and that's something you want to be open about uh you want to share you want to share everything you have with this with this queen of swords and you know what this queen of swords she also has been manifested you she's waiting on you look at this it's a cup and there is water in it i don't know if you see my camera is not the best i apologize for that maybe it's gonna get better with times <clears throat> uh but yeah definitely she's also preparing for you maybe you even started some communication and and connecting and you know getting to know each other if you are not in a relationship of course it's gonna apply to you um like maybe you already started that and for others of you you may be in a separation right now and you just know who your queen is you just know it and she also does <laughs> she also does know it okay <clears throat> Judgment is clarified by harmony and existence. A beautiful card. Some water energy, some water and element we got from this. Also air, existence. Yeah, definitely judgment call you wanted to uh, create that actually needed to happen just to make clear uh, what do I want? What do I need? What am I going to create? Is this really something I want? Uh, yeah, it's confirming. Like all of the questions you have got, judgments. The number on a card is a major arcana. The number on a card is 20. So maybe around 20 December is going to be significant for some judgment calls. Pay attention, pay attention. So yeah, definitely existence and harmony with that. Beautiful. So the next one we got the lovers. Let's look at the lovers. We got success and we have to tell. So yeah, definitely. I, I, I think I don't have to talk anymore. Like, I really feel like I don't have to talk anymore. Like, you experiencing success. Like, the judgment call is going to make you right. You are actually experiencing success with the lovers, with the one you manifested, you created, you're getting back together, or, you know, like, you are celebrating the times, you are enjoying your time together, and, and it feels, it feels like, total 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 everything like this person this person is the person because this person is actually going to catch you when you fall actually it won't let you fall because the person is going to be there to catch you no matter what and support you and just say hey i'm here whatever you need i'm here that's why you know you want to share your everything also with this person 
like your food, your air, your bath, your bath and bath. <laughs> Some English words got me like, you know, like, okay. Ooh. Pretty much love reading. Pretty much great reading, great energy, great energy and great reading. Very uh, supportive and positive one. I must say. I just thought about maybe I should pull some um, Oracle angels, love angels, romantic angels. But I got a feeling I don't have to do that. I don't have to do that. With this pair and this, what you're going through and you're creating a dream and you're open for that. And you, it's a big one. It's a big one. So King of Wands, we got being creative and transformation. He may also be a creative person, you know, whoever this king of wands is. But as an energy for you, uh, you are actually allowing yourself to, to be creative and to just create, just create family, have kids, build stuff together, open a business together. Like, yeah. And we got a transformation. So justice is definitely going to hit you up. This month is big for you. Until we meet again and take care.